<sighs> hey everyone, what's going on? Thanks for tuning in to Relevant Jukebox, and today we're going to talk about the comeback of Rebecca Black with this new EP, Rebecca Black Was Here. So yes, this is the latest offering of songs from the pop star Rebecca Black, who we all know from back in 2011 with her viral single, Friday. Now, I can't say that at the time I was enthralled in that track. If anything, it was all over the place. It annoyed the hell out of me. And that track just drifted so swiftly into my life and left it just as quick, which also kind of seemed like what happened with Rebecca Black. She kind of like disappeared in a way, like only released an EP and a handful of singles, but you know, no full length to speak of or much after that. I was really surprised to hear her show up on Dorian Elector's track Edgelord from last year, which was a really great feature for Rebecca overall. And then she started rifling off a series of singles that showed her going into a hyper pop direction. And I was like, okay, I'm down for that. There's no reason why I wouldn't see Rebecca existing in that space. And if she's going to reinvent herself and come back into pop, in my opinion that's the best way to do it right now in 2021 and you know she does it in just about the best way possible uh this ep it just blew me away it's like absolutely fantastic i first saw this cover image in like kind of a small form on the internet i was like oh it's come out she's released something and you know i saw the cover really quickly at a glance and i was like oh typical pop cover you know it's got a portrait photo of the singer on the front and you know they have like a beige background whatever kind of trendy looking i didn't even <laughs> notice like the green slime that was coming out of her mouth uh, at first and then i noticed it after i was like huh that's weird. And surprisingly, the production on this project had the same effect on me. It's actually like super strange and alien-like at times, but it's very subtle in its presentation of these weird quirks. The appeal of this project I could see being like a middle ground that bridges the gap between a lot of pop singers that have more of a mainstream following, because you'll hear Rebecca Black's name attached to this project and they might check it out, but then you have all the underground hyper-pop fans that lean more towards like experimental music where I think this is gonna really catch their ears as well. And you know, a lot of these tracks were actually already released as singles but hearing them in the context of this EP has just like opened it up for me and made them so much more expansive instrumentally and I think it was the first track on this EP that really caught my ear and made me like change my expectations of what was going on it just really snuck up on me super infectious chorus and also like the transition and progression of the instrumental is just like awe-inspiring like there's so many little details to unpack and just like Oh, I mean, it's so cool. <laughs> also, the track NGL is another great example of those weird and alien-like quirks that she brings to the table, not being overbearing or overdone. There's just like a little bit of effects on her voice that makes it like semi-robotic in a way, but she still sounds like herself while she's singing like this. I mean, it just pops. And the flow of this EP runs out like a mini album too, like right in the middle with the track Blue, you have like a slow-burning ballad that really caught me off guard. It hangs in this really moody atmosphere for a majority of the track, but then towards the end with the crescendo and things just kind of end, I was just kind of like, oh, she really does just kind of leave you hanging at the end of it, which actually I enjoyed because it kicks you right into the next track. And I almost like didn't pay attention to it for like the first 30 seconds or a minute as I was still thinking about the end of Blue. And she ties everything up with the single Girlfriend, which again was previously released, but still an enjoyable track with a nice catchy chorus on it as well. But yeah, I mean, I don't know. This thing just kind of like blew me away. I mean, it's rare that you see an artist just kind of disappear for a while and then come back and reinvent herself in this way, which I think will bring in a ton of new fans to her, but also maybe satisfy the old fan base if they're still hanging around. I'm not really quite sure. But yeah, I mean, uh, I'm just loving the hell out of this thing. I mean, it's, it's super enjoyable. And with that being said, I'm feeling a 9.5 over here on Rebecca Black was here. Now I've been lurking across her website, waiting for this to come out on a vinyl or like some kind of physical release. Nothing's dropped just yet, but maybe stay tuned. She's been releasing merch slowly. So maybe a vinyl will come. And if you have heard this new Rebecca Black EP, what did you guys think about it? Let me know in the comment section down below. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like and share. And if you want more content from me, hit that subscribe button. Peace.